unmanned ground vehicles, or UGVs, are robots that are capable of operating on the ground without a human operator. They are typically used for tasks that are too dangerous or difficult for humans to perform, such as bomb disposal or reconnaissance in military operations. Quad-legged UGVs, as the name suggests, are UGVs that have four legs instead of wheels, allowing them to move over rough terrain and navigate obstacles more easily than wheeled UGVs. Some quad-legged UGVs are designed to be highly agile and able to move quickly, while others are designed for stability and the ability to carry heavy payloads. In general, quad-legged UGVs are still a relatively new technology, and there is ongoing research and development in this area to improve their capabilities and versatility. The development of unmanned ground vehicles has a long history that dates back to the early days of robotics. The first UGVs were developed in the 1950s and 1960s and were primarily used for military and industrial applications. Over time, UGVs have become increasingly advanced and versatile, with a wide range of applications in fields such as agriculture, environmental monitoring, search and rescue, and logistics. Quad-legged unmanned ground vehicles are typically operated by a human operator who uses a remote control to direct the robot's movements. The operator may be located nearby, or they may be located at a remote location and use a wireless communication system to control the UGV. In some cases, Quad-legged UGVs may also be equipped with autonomous capabilities that allow them to perform certain tasks without direct human control. However, even in these cases, a human operator is typically responsible for overseeing the UGV's operations and making decisions about its actions. Unmanned ground vehicles are designed to be durable and able to operate in challenging environments. The exact durability of a UGV will depend on its specific design and the materials used in its construction. In general, UGVs are built to be rugged and able to withstand rough terrain and harsh conditions, such as extreme temperatures, dust, and water. Some UGVs are also designed to be shock resistant and able to withstand impacts or collisions. So, the durability of a UGV is an important factor in its ability to perform its intended tasks reliably and consistently. Furthermore, UGVs also use a variety of sensors and other technologies to navigate and perform their intended tasks. For example, they may use cameras, LIDAR, radar, or other sensors to detect obstacles and navigate around them. They may use specialized tools or manipulators to perform specific tasks, such as picking up and moving objects, or disarming explosives. Three, two, one. The specific design and capabilities of a UGV will depend on its intended applications, and the requirements of the task it's designed to perform. For your information, the QUGV, also referred to as Robot Dogs, has been delivered to the 325th Security Forces Squadron at Tyndall Air Force Base. The semi-autonomous robots were designed by Ghost Robotics and Immersive Wisdom. They have the ability to crouch down and creep into small areas, in order to increase security at the facility, which is situated in the Florida Panhandle, the base aims to use them. The QUGVs are each outfitted with a wide variety of cameras and sensors. These provide the device with a 360-degree view of its surroundings. The four-legged units can climb difficult terrain in a wide variety of temperatures from negative 40 to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. The robot's design is similar to that of Boston Dynamics robot Spot, 
That robot has a top speed of 3.5 miles per hour. Boston Dynamics founder and chairman Mark Raybert gave an explanation on the decision to develop robots with legs rather than with wheels or tracks. He claimed that whereas wheels and tracks can restrict mobility, human and animal legs allow them to move more freely around the entire planet. Due to the spot unit's excellence, the maker has sold over 400 of them to organizations all over the world. Each machine is worth $75,000 and the price increases with further upgrades and extras. According to Major Jordan Chris, commander of the 325th Security Forces Squadron, these robot dogs will be deployed as a force multiplier for better situational awareness by patrolling areas that are undesirable for people and vehicles. He added that the robots, which are in no way intended to take the place of actual military working dogs, will be programmed with a patrol route and watched over by a non-commissioned officer of the Security Forces Electronic Security Sensor System. As significant volumes of data are computed at key sites throughout Tyndall, these dogs will serve as an additional pair of eyes and ears. The U.S. Air Force has already used the robots to evaluate their capabilities for perimeter defense duties and as part of a significant test of the network's Advanced Battle Management System, ABMS, Data Sharing System. In the 2020 test, robot dogs at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada transmitted real-time strike targeting information via Starlink satellite communications to USAF operations in Florida. As shown in the video, a user controls the robot using a controlled pad that looks like a game controller. Even if the vision sensors malfunction and the robot slides or malfunctions, it can still work in uncharted surroundings and return to its original place. That's why robot dogs are being considered for purposes in emergency management, public safety, and industrial inspection, in addition to their military applications. Regarding its design and features, the robot has a robust architecture that enables it to quickly adapt to new settings with the aid of a blind mode control core. The system's legs and arms can be switched out. It can also navigate a variety of terrains, including slopes, sand, rocks, and stairs. Additionally, it is built to survive water and weather, and it was recently proved that it can travel underwater thanks to a tail-like payload. In challenging circumstances, it can swim, climb, crawl, walk, and run. Additionally, the UGV weighs 51 kilograms and is capable of transporting payloads up to 10 kilograms. The system's assembly and disassembly take only 15 minutes. Interestingly, the robot dog is powered by a 1250 watt hour standard lithium ion battery. It has a 10 kilometer range on a single charge with a portable wireless charging solution with IP67 certification guarantees, reliable 24 hour operation. The robot dogs also offer a 21-hour standby time, 8 to 10 hours of mixed use, and a maximum of 4 hours of continuous operation. The system is capable of operating between negative 40 degrees Celsius and 55 degrees Celsius and has a maximum speed of 3 meters per second. In short, the robot dog is projected to give ground-based forces better situational awareness. Moreover, it is also expected that it will be used to support frontline soldiers by serving as their eyes and ears. As always, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.